That is Jimmy Johnson qualifying for Sunday's Indianapolis 500, the crown jewel of auto racing. He's trying to become just the third driver ever to win the Indy 500 and Daytona 500, two very different races. Johnson captured a record-tying seven NASCAR Series championships, winning races like Daytona, driving stock cars, regular vehicle silhouettes enhanced for racing. But two years ago, he switched gears, setting out to drive in open-wheeled formula cars made popular in F1 and IndyCar, a new career pursuit for a legend of auto racing. And we wanted to know why. Let's get things rolling here in St. Pete. At the opening race of the 2022 IndyCar season, 26 cars zoomed and zagged their way through the downtown streets of St. Petersburg, Florida, with speed limits clearly suspended for the day. This is a Jimmy Johnson we haven't seen mixing it up. All right, let's do this. A few days earlier, I got a feel for the course. How fast will this go? Let's find out. <laughs> Riding shotgun with driver Jimmy Johnson. Oh, this is awesome. I get why you love this. I really do. <laughs> it wasn't Johnson's usual ride, but we still hit about 115 miles per hour. Formula cars Johnson drives on the IndyCar circuit reach top speeds of more than twice that, up to 240 miles per hour. And turns out, it's the speed that keeps the car from flying off the track. So oftentimes, I've found that I'm like, oh no, it's, it's I'm, I'm at the edge of traction. Like, actually, no, you're going too slow. So you, you start backing off and you need to go faster. You go faster. <laughs> that speed means drivers can experience up to five Gs on turns or five times their body weight. As for the car itself, it features an open wheel cockpit with drivers sitting just two inches off the ground. It's a far cry from the stock cars Johnson mastered racing for more than two decades in NASCAR. A legend in the sport, he's the only driver ever to win five straight NASCAR Cup Series championships, though he'd end his NASCAR career after three winless seasons, retiring in 2020. In those three years of not winning, I also realized just how much fun I wasn't having. And at the time, I really felt like I was done with full-time racing. But as I got some elevation from, uh, from the sport, I realized that I was just ready for, some, for a new challenge. This is kind of the tub area, what we call it. That's when he made the move to IndyCar. In many ways, like starting from scratch. How much did you have to break down what you knew already to go into IndyCar? It's been a complete reinvention, and there's no one more surprised than myself, honestly. They are two completely different disciplines. Yeah. And, you know, there are many open wheel drivers that have tried NASCAR and, and only a few that have gone this way, but I now see it. Johnson's had to learn on the fly, a rookie all over again when he began training two years ago. I was driving anything with an open wheel environment and wings on it. <laughs> including some lower division formula cars with kids that are literally still in school. I mean, they're, they're tutors were at the racetrack. Their parents were there. They didn't even have a driver's license. And you know, here's 45, 46 year old, seven time NASCAR, NASCAR champion. great, yeah, <laughs> Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> like, hey kids, <laughs> how's it going? Thank you. That's awesome. It was wild because many of those moments reminded me of why I'm even doing this. What do you love about driving? There's an experience on track that takes me back to being the five-year-old Jimmy riding my dirt bike. Johnson's been racing nearly as long as he's been able to walk. I found this under the Christmas tree on Christmas morning when I was four years old. Were you the daredevil kid? I would say out of my crazy friends, I wasn't the craziest. A lot of the friends that I grew up racing motocross with, you know, quickly doing backflips and all the wild jumps that they do, that was never my, my thing. So I feel like I was more sane than the rest, certainly. <laughs> But sane might not be the word everyone would use to describe auto racing, especially moving from stock cars to formula cars. More exciting? It is more unknown, more exciting, <laughs> uh, without a doubt. Scarier? Uh, yeah. Wrong word to use maybe when I would use. I'm going to put my bag down. And perhaps his family. Johnson and his wife, Shani, have two daughters. Ugh. And while they all have a knack for competition, that need for speed is definitely from dad's DNA. 
Is there a daredevil side to you at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an adrenaline seeker She's in any way. She's always managing risk. Like you just see the computer <laughs> running. Like, do I really need to do this? Or do you really need to do yes. this? That's the question Shani asked when Jimmy was contemplating getting back behind the wheel. For answers, the Johnsons turned to their friend and coach, four-time IndyCar champion Dario Franchitti. What I love about Jimmy is he, he wanted it to be a family decision. He said, I really can't do this if you're not on board. I had a few questions. I was like, what do you think, honestly, safety-wise, and is this a crazy idea? He said, of course it's crazy, but you know, if anyone can do it, Jimmy can. As I said last year, he's got the, the enthusiasm of a rookie with the mindset of a seven-time champion. The first race, I was a wreck, and each race, I got a little more comfortable with him in those cars, and this year has been definitely much more enjoyable. This year, Johnson's first full-time season, meaning he's competing on both the street courses, like St. Pete, and for the first time, the ovals, like the famed track at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the Brickyard, site of this weekend's Indy 500. Johnson already has four NASCAR victories on the track, but driving and what's been dubbed the greatest spectacle in racing has remained one of his lifelong dreams. My household on Memorial Day weekend when I was a little kid growing up, it'd be my grandfather, my father, myself, and my brothers watching the Indy 500. As the date gets closer, I find myself watching old videos and remembering, oh, I was on the couch and I saw that happen. Does he call you in when it's like, you gotta see this one. Wait, this is the one from 1972. Oh yes, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. oh, all the time, all the time. We were just watching one the other day with Emerson Fittipaldi, right. and Mario Andretti, Rick Mears, you know, these, these greats that are out there dueling it out. Johnson is trying to become a part of that Indy 500 lore. While he's just outside the top 20 in the current IndyCar standings, he'll start the race in the 12th position among 33 cars. No matter the outcome, for now, Johnson says he's just trying to enjoy the ride. I'm a competitor and I want to win, but where I am in life, you know, I spent a large part of my career motivating myself and oftentimes being unhappy, yeah. worrying about winning. But I don't have to continue to do that. I don't have to continue to be that way. And that, that's been a big revelation for myself and it took those tough final years of NASCAR to realize it. like, I want to win. I don't have to win. You can be I, the kid on the dirt I bike. I can be the kid. Fun. I want to be out there. And I've also found that I have an 11 year old and an eight year old that are watching closely and they, they identify with that. And that's possibly the most important thing. Absolutely. Just amazing perspective, and I cannot stress enough. I mean, he dominated NASCAR. Yeah. So for me to see this switch, just amazing. Wishing him the best. Great stuff. Yes, Thanks, it Dana. was. The Dish is next. Stick around.